sons and daughters of freedom, devotees of love, you who would transcend this plane and enter into a greater oneness with the Divine One in your midst. We are Saint Germain and Portia, and this day we choose, on the first day of May 2015, to emanate the light of eternal freedom deep within the earth, within its atmosphere, and especially within the souls, the minds, and the hearts of those consecrated to freedom who would invest the energies consciously of their wills toward the outpicturing of this light of freedom everywhere. Blessed ones, within a certain level of being and the higher octaves of light on this day there is the celebration of the Blessed Mother Mary and yea on this May Day in many churches around the world as she is revered as the Mother of God a crown of flowers is placed upon her head. Heads are bowed in prayer. Children receive their first Holy Communion, all dressed in white. And through this devotion, this honor, and respect of the Eternal Mother there is an uplift, there is an advancement of the solar civilization of light in many realms because the feminine aspect of God is acknowledged. We come also to bow before the Blessed Mother and tell you that the effect of your rosaries, your prayers to the Archangels and Archaei, your adoration of God, your devotion through constancy daily, does indeed draw down the fire of heaven into earth and the mother energy rises to give birth within the earth to the new era the era of love peace freedom and enlightenment Many of you have been involved in various charitable works, both in this life and in past incarnations when you consecrated your being to a particular cause, religious, ordination, or holy order, or spiritual work in a general way. The culmination of all that you have invoked, all that you have lived for, is coming into play and into prominence, blessed ones. 
as you ascend in consciousness daily, invoke the violet light and all of its graces and gifts of the Spirit throughout the earth. And there is for each one of you, proffered now by angels of the sacred fire, a certain anointing of your soul, a support of your spirit, an encouragement of your hearts toward the fulfillment of your divine plan, your reason for being upon this earth, and we have the privilege of announcing to you that for each of you who sustains the invocation and the emanation of the light consciously, daily, for the duration of your lifetime upon earth, you receive both the visitation and the enduring presence of an angel of the sacred fire, either of the seventh or the fifth ray. And for some of you both, for your alchemical abundant life in spirit manifest within matter. You see, gracious ones, it is God's gift to the righteous ones, the saints upon earth, as a bestowal of this support from heaven to provide for you guidance, protection, love, the validation of who you are, encouragement in many, many ways so that you will never feel despondent, less than, or unsupported on your path. When you can feel the flow of light through your chakras, feel that tingling of the energy of spirit throughout your aura, within your mind, perfused through your eyes and heart to the world. You become a nexus for that stupendous light of God that is required in so many realms within this earth for the salvation of souls and even their physical body temples from the onslaughts of darkness and from the denizens of the deep. Jesus stands now with his blessed mother in the Middle East and sends forth concentric rings and spheres of cosmic Christ peace to flow throughout this world to give notice to those who are acting in a way that is not hospitable toward others reverent towards all fates that they indeed must change bend the knee and accept the light of the living Christ within their worlds so that true freedom may be won, freedom to worship God in a divine way, no matter what that one's upbringing or particular affiliation Yes, blessed hearts, the light of the Son of God is manifest 
throughout our planet this day so that Christians as well as Muslims, Jews as well as Hindus, Buddhists as well as Jains, Sikhs, and those of every denomination may understand and allow for true freedom of religion to reign upon this earth. All must be respected, Jesus says, and in words of living golden fire, his message is conveyed to the souls of all peoples. And there is an action through the delivery of his word this day in honoring his mother and in honoring the truth, the way, and the life of righteousness and godliness, of soul cleanliness and harmony, of the Almighty by whatever name he, she is invoked, and in this honoring, and in this adoration, an action of cosmic justice also descends, and many receive at the hand of an archangel and his legions, either the strong hand of the will of God to curtail what they have manifest as darkness, murder, and destruction with a simultaneous teaching on the ends not justifying the means and of how the law of cause and effect is meted out this day within their world or the balanced scales of justice and harmony to be true and for alignment to manifest. We add the momentum of freedom and justice to this equation and are in full support of the Son of God, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, in his mission to complete the cyclings of light through the age of Pisces. And as we take that torch from the great master of Pisces. We deliver the light to humanity through the action of the violet ray or the victory of presence, oneness, and new possibilities for virtue to live again upon earth. You who live virtuous lives are at the very nexus of the release of light throughout our earth, blessed ones, through your hearts beating in resonance with the Eternal One, through the love that you bear the honor and the deference that you offer to every individual, through the acknowledgement of the God light within every soul. You are causative of certain beautiful planetary changes and transformations through your awareness linked with 
the greater Antakarana of the Universal White Brotherhood, whose work sustains the balance of this earth, the harmonics of light, the truth being revealed perpetually through initiates, the anointed ones, true messengers of light. We utilize this dispensation of the heart's center, community, and movement to ray forth daily and weekly, monthly and yearly, a new stream of beingness, and within it many carrier waves of golden crystal consciousness to impregnate in all manner of spheres and multi-dimensions of being, the seed ideations of Alpha and Omega, the light of the Logos, and the co-creative power, wisdom, and love that embeds within each heart opportunity for unity. Come ye into union with yourself, your true self, O mankind. You have always had the light beating within your heart. You have always had free will to choose the higher road, the more sublime walk with God. Take your cue from Enoch, Melchizedek, and Jesus, know the way, the truth, and the life by living virtuously each day and offering to God upon the altar of your heart something of self to counteract that which is transpiring of darkness and to mitigate what could manifest Has planetary transmutation outplayed by the nature spirits through what you have termed natural catastrophes such as you have seen recently in Nepal and the Himalayan region? It does not have to be so, blessed hearts, that thousands of individuals lose their lives. Because the elementals attempt to shrug off the darkness of mankind's inhumanity to man, woman, and child. If abortion and child molestation child slavery and all sexual perversions pass down through generations manifesting upon the holy children were consumed, reversed, and transmuted, you would see a great new light given birth to upon earth, a new joy, a new awareness, and a lesser manifestation of the outpicturing of catastrophes of all sorts. Yet because life is not revered in the womb, and within the holy innocence, and within those living in feminine bodies upon this earth, through all manner of degradation practiced upon their holy temples of light, you see what you see 
Mankind has not learned the lesson of the circle and of cause and effect. And life is as it is, and as you have seen it manifest. When you daily invoke that light and do your sacred work and manifest your awareness in truth for virtue to be self-realized within thousands and millions across this planetary home. A new radiance will be perfused throughout all realms and peace, lasting peace will arise once again on our blessed planetary home. This is our vision that through the quickening, the awakening, the enlightenment of many, a momentum will be established, a carrier wave will surround the earth, that all will be so quickened that in the twinkling of an eye, the new era will begin and true freedom God freedom will reign here upon our earth. Before your incarnation, you appeared before us and the great karmic board. You made your pledge you announced your mission. Your vows were recorded. And as your life began within the womb of your mother, the energy of spirit sparked you even then to acknowledge within your cells within your tiny being, the light of God within, that you were different from many, that you knew who you were, and that come what may, you would fulfill your reason for being. We bring this memory of inner soulfulness, of your commitment toward your holy path of light, to your outer waking awareness, blessed hearts, so that you may key back into the divine ideal. Work with the divine director daily in some way and succeed victoriously in your work. fruitful in all ways, loving, mirthful, and kind. The angel assigned to you will be there for you from this day forward. And we dare say that many of you have already been assigned a number of angels and guardian spirits. Often these walk and talk with you, yet you heed them not, or only sense in a mystical way their presence without a face-to-face -face appearance or perception. Get used to the fact that God is within you, all around you, and that the energies of your heart 
will and can make the difference as you choose to engage them daily through a new commitment to truth, virtue, freedom, and enlightenment. Now, blessed ones, we also assign an angel of coordination to assist you in all planning for the victorious transmission of our message through this one and workshops and talks on the sacred science of divine advanced alchemy. We thank those who have supported this planning process and we quickly move heaven and earth to finalize those plans which we will announce soon to you all for your prayers, your support, and for a few your active involvement at the local level. Many are already studying this Tome of Light and imbibing the alchemical streams of awareness that we embedded within the words and that we will also release again and again in future volumes. You are a part of this alchemy if you choose blessed hearts to pray for this work and for a greater delivery of our message throughout the world in numerous languages. Miracles are even today manifesting that you will soon be told about. And through the virtuous efforts of you as saints upon earth, a new millennium of enlightened awareness will continue to dawn upon our blessed planet. Now the Blessed Mother Mary also acknowledges you, each one, for your love, your kindness, the sweetness of your soul, Upon the maidens of this movement, she places a sacred filigree white veil upon your heads. And upon the gentlemen, she adorns you with the blue fire radiance of the light of the Father for the protection of your families, your children, your loved ones, and your communities. Oh, how great is God. Oh, how magnanimous are his, her works through their sons and daughters. We are one in the Son, in the Spirit, and within the ocean of God's eternal heart. We are one forever in divine love. And we thank you. <laughs> 